Part five is the final part of the skills practice. And not only does it give you another opportunity to practice making selections, but it will also give you the opportunity to combine some images. Once again, there are images here for you to use. Clicking on this mask link and background link will uh, lead you to choose from a variety of different images. So once you click on these, sort through and choose one from each, uh, download them and open them in Photoshop. So I've already done that. So I've got them both open in Photoshop. So this is the one I've chosen for my mask option. And this is my back op background option that I've chosen. So because this is practice and I'm always going to advocate that you practice as many skills that you've learned along the way, um, I will advise that maybe you take an opportunity to to practice creating a new document to work from. So you can combine these two um, and just rename the document and you um, by your uh, method that you've chosen. Um, but again, um, I think it's a good skill to practice. So I'm going to go ahead and choose new. Oh, and before that, um, just so you know, both of these um, images are the same size. So I check that first and you'll want to check that first. Um, they're both seven by five at 150. So I'm going to create my new document at those same dimensions um, to make to make things simplified and a little bit easier. So here I'm going to go ahead and name it and I like including last names in these um, in these in your naming system. And it's a skills practice eight still. And this one is mask. Uh, I'll call it mask practice. And now here you can choose how you want to set it up. So I'm going to again choose inches seven by five. My orientation is set to horizontal. And then make sure that the resolution is 150. Um, so I've got my uh, color mode set to RGB and the background to white. And I don't know um, if you've worked with these advanced options, but you can also make sure that you are um, giving it the appropriate working file. So we're, we're, our working space should be set up to Adobe RGB. Um, you can just uh, uh, do that um, from that drop down menu as well. So I'm going to go ahead and hit create. Um, so uh, with this document open, I'm now going to bring in both of the layers into this one document and then begin to make my selections and combine the images.